Hi guys, Paul here, and what we're going to be doing is running through a quick video showing some of the new features with the new Mobius firmware update, and the main one being the auto white balance lock feature. I'll show you exactly how that works. Uh, first thing we're going to have to do is upgrade this uh, Mobius to the latest firmware, and you need to make sure you do have a memory card in there. If you don't, uh, it goes in upside down like so. Pop that guy in there, and we should be good to go. So, what I'm going to do is make sure you're running the latest version of the software, and that's pretty straightforward to do. I'll get the software up and running. So, we just plug this guy in here. And once we do that, we should be good to go. Now, this pop-up won't come up on your computer, because I'm doing this on a Mac Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, is, as you can see, this Mobius is actually running version one, uh, sorry, 2.18 firmware. We click on that, and it comes up and says there's a new firmware available. So what we'll do, we'll hit the tools, and we're going to upgrade to version 2.33. So what we'll do is click on download, and that will download the firmware for us. Now keep in mind all the video tests I've done have been with version 2.3 so they've come up with another update so um, I'm sure it's going to work pretty similar. I didn't have much issues as far as bugs go but anyway we'll go through and show exactly how it all works. So we're going to install this on the Mobius. So I'll click on install and you can see it's flashing. All the LEDs have actually gone off. Plug it back in again. So it's installing the firmware now. Powering back up again. And there we go. And I've got Clean Flight updating itself too. So, anyway, that's all been done. So, we're running the latest firmware. So, what we'll do is run through the basic settings and get those all set up for this Mobius camera. So the first item is your sync date, um, and we want to sync the date and time. That'll just sync it with the computer. Uh, we're using the lens type A on this Mobius camera, and 50 hertz is what we use here in Australia, so you can obviously go 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on where you are. Recording indicator, yes, we want that on, and USB port charging, we want that enabled also, and we're gonna be using FAT32. Uh, date, time, that seems fine. Uh, this is video mode 1. We want to power up and go straight into video mode 1. Uh, power up on late. That's fast. That's fine. So power on auto record. I don't want it to automatically start recording because I want to be able to set the white balance. So we definitely want that off. Um, power off on standby. So basically if it's not recording or doing anything and I switch it on and forget to switch it off, it'll switch off after one minute. So I've basically got one minute to set the white balance once I switch it on and then start recording that's okay and power off disconnect immediate that is also fine okay so the miscellaneous settings motion detect is off and i've got it set to ntsc out at 43 it doesn't really matter because i don't actually fly using the mobius camera and um webcam motion jpeg this really isn't relevant so don't worry about this page so mode one this is the only mode that i'll use i don't normally run a mode two because i just basically record in the one mode and that's the uh, 1080p so we'll go through the settings here so the first one is movie and sound file type i use mov format audio sorry about that bird chirping that's my little parrot on my shoulder at the moment uh, audio recording i want on because i do want audio video timestamp i don't want a video timestamp on my hd footage 
rotation I've got that switched off loop recording is also off and what we need to do is change the video data rate from standard to high because we want the best quality video footage that we can get now video clip length I've set that to maximum so basically it won't segment the videos wide dynamic range I've got that switched off I probably should do a test with it on again because I did a test with it on quite some time ago and it didn't make all that much difference Field of view, I've got it set to wide and I'm obviously running 1080p and I have it set to 30 frames per second and time lapse is off. Mode 2, I don't really actually worry too much about mode 2 because I don't run a second mode on my uh, Mobius. And photo mode, I also don't worry about that because it's just set to the high settings and I don't really take photographs with my Mobius either. So this is now the business end that we need to get right. Now it's obviously kept the original settings as far as sharpness, exposure, contrast and saturation. And you're more than welcome to try those settings and see what you think of them. What you'll notice is the enable lock mode for white balance isn't clickable at the moment. And that's because we need to set this back up to auto. And once it's set to auto, we're pretty much good to go. We'll enable lock mode for that um, and that will allow us to lock in our white balance uh, what i won't bother with at the moment is enabling the exposure lock and the only reason for that is i'm not exactly sure in some same applications it may work but in some applications it may not and we set the parameters and once we press set parameters that's pretty much done and our mobius camera is ready and what we'll do now is cut to some footage and we'll discuss the footage that i've recorded and uh, the impact of the settings okay so what you're looking at here is day one with the auto white balance lockdown and this is flight number one so basically what i've done is pointed the mobius in this direction and i've held the menu button uh, for about three seconds and it does a flash to let you know that you've actually locked down the white balance and it's pretty much good to go i sort of aim for about a third sky and um, two thirds ground and sort of pointed the camera down maybe about, I don't know, 15% or thereabouts. And uh, that's basically how I set the white balance in this video. Now, all in all, it's worked quite well. As you can see, when I'm going through shaded areas and bright areas, etc., the colors aren't actually shifting. The sorts of things you want to be looking at in this video is the grass, uh, the trees, and also the blue sky. And they may actually shift as far as the gains go as in the brightness but other than that uh, the colors aren't changing at all the green still look green and the blue still looks blue so all in all uh, first flight working beautifully so this is flight number two on the day that was just my wife there sitting down on the uh, park bench with me and um, you can see it looks pretty much identical to the first video looking at it uh, I've sort of looked at the video side by side there is very little to no difference at all I mean um the transition even without doing any color correction which i haven't done here wouldn't be an issue at all so surprisingly the second video was also quite good going through the shaded areas no real issues uh, this path that's really quite bright uh, tucking in amongst the trees etc you can see the brightness they're changing but colors are still locked in and fine so i'm um, really happy with the way that's working now i've I've had some people ask me about locking down the exposure. I think in some circumstances you could, but I don't think it's going to work well in every circumstance. So hence why I haven't locked down the exposure. I've left that as is and all I've focused on is locking down the uh, white balance. Essentially that was probably the biggest problem that I personally had with the Mobius and that's why I was going with custom settings originally because it would actually shift every time we went through a shaded area like this the colors would shift and sometimes when you came out in bright sunlight or whatever the lighting was it wouldn't necessarily change back to the way you would actually expect it to change so uh, hence trying to correct that in post was near impossible so the easiest solution for me at the time was uh, lock down the white balance and as a result, that meant I had a white balance that was kind of a compromise. So it worked okay-ish. Colors weren't shifting. I could correct it a little bit in post if I had to, but essentially it was pretty much fine. So this is the third flight on the day. And as you can see, once again, it's actually achieved really good white balance. It looks identical to the previous two flights. And I'm flying through 
basically lots of trees and shaded areas etc and it's not having any issues whatsoever all in all the conditions were quite good the sun was quite high uh, during this part of the video I think it would have been around about three o'clock ish in the afternoon because we were um, this is just around a corner from my son's school and we we're getting ready to pick him up so I squeezed in a few flights just to try out the uh, Mobius as in this uh, new white balance lock feature so um, the sun was up pretty high uh, it's daylight savings here so sun probably doesn't go down until about nine o'clock in the evening now this is the fourth and last flight of the day uh, <laughs> As you can see, that wasn't uh, what I was expecting at all. The colors were out by a long shot. I um, was worried that this was going to happen the whole time, but this is the only time when it actually missed the white balance. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe I wasn't pointing the camera in the right direction. Maybe that was my fault. I, I really don't know. Uh, this is probably my biggest concern, that if you do get that money shot, you may end up with colors like this. Uh, but having said that, look, it only occurred the one time, so it may not be a big issue at all. Uh, I tried to actually correct this in post just to see how much of the original colors I could recover, and it was near impossible. I mean, um, I could improve the video, but not by that much at all. And keep in mind, you're looking at the raw footage. So this is the second day. This is around about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, shops were closed, so I thought I'd squeeze in a quick flight before my wife and myself went. Uh, shopping so this is day three and sorry day two and it's the first flight you've probably seen some of this footage in my last video that I released but uh, the Sun was quite low uh, it wasn't sunrise but it was still quite low and the footage and the colors were absolutely beautiful it was a fantastic day to fly this day because it was just so little wind uh, there was a little bit of breeze there but not that much at all and the air was quite smooth as you can see um, the multi-rotor itself was just slicing through the air no dramas at all probably the only thing that let the uh, flight down was the pilot but all in all i was very very happy with the way it was actually flying and also the way the colors came out in this park probably the best footage i've ever got at this park um out of a mobius that is you know uh with the gopro obviously you can do a lot better than this but this is the second flight on the same day and as you can see it's pretty much identical the sun's pretty low there so it's in the lens, but not causing any issues other than exposure. But uh, you're going to get some hot spots there with the video, and that's really to do with the dynamic range of the Mobius camera itself. So um, as you can see, she's flying quite well. And shaded area, colors didn't shift at all, and it's looking really good. So all in all, uh, really happening nicely here. And uh, we're about to move on to oh, bottle there I didn't notice that bottle before when I was actually uh, flying someone's obviously left their drink bottle there the other interesting question I've had about this park is people are surprised why there's no one um, this is the last flight for the morning people are sort of wondering why there aren't any people about there are actually heaps of people at this park but uh, there's running tracks and there's like outdoor exercise areas etc uh, along the river and hence most people sort of hang away from uh, this little corner of this uh, park so there's people walking everywhere but no one actually bothers with this area so it's just really really nice and quiet you can get out there and have a bit of a play um, I don't think my wife even bothered coming out to spot for me she was in the car most of the time so uh, but no look it was really really good um, as you can see no issues with colors at all and the video quality looks pretty much as you would expect it so this was uh, this is flight number seven I think it is in total so working really well up high there as you can see the colors haven't shifted at all uh, the trees still look the same color so no issues at all with this part of the video so what we're going to do now is move on to day three this is flight number one I've only recorded two flights on this day and this is just an abandoned uh, site and um, having a little bit of play around there and just trying it out there and um, I set the white balance once again pointing away from lights as in where the lights were shining through the windows up top there uh, just to try and get the colors of the ground and the brickwork etc correct and it seems to have done a really really good job so this was my first indoor flight with it and there was no real issues as far as coloring etc goes as you can see the gains are shifting up and down 
just because of the nature of the lighting but all in all there are no issues at all so uh, I'm about to go on to the second flight shortly I think and um, the second flight was pretty much the same as far as colors etc go now we're going to switch to the second flight and no, here we go this is the last flight and as you can see once again the colors are about the same um, it's reasonably accurate to what it was on the day and no real issues at all so that was all the flights I've done on it so far I only missed on one of the flights so that's the way the white balance lock feature works on the new Mobius firmware and I must say I'm really really pleased with it so uh, hopefully they make a few more improvements along those lines and we should be laughing anyway look thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video and I will catch you guys later